Here are some general and Git improvements of the Eclipse IDE 2019-06, improvements that have been added since the last release in March three months ago. On the command line to import a project into Eclipse, the project directory can be passed as an argument. For example, to import this Java project, which is not yet an Eclipse project, as you can see from the missing .project file. To import the current directory, a single dot can be used. At startup, you can see two changes compared to the previous release. The more obvious change is the new splash screen. Have you noticed the other change? Eclipse takes less time to start. Here, the Eclipse OpenJ9 OpenJDK Java 12 VM is used, which further minimizes the start time by using the share class's cache. For a full-featured Java IDE, that is really fast, isn't it? Here is the Import Project dialog. All we have to do here is click Finish. The associated Git repository was correctly detected too. The project is ready to be further worked on in Eclipse. The .project file was created and, because it is a Java project, also the .class path. Files passed as arguments are opened in the already running instance, if any. The same applies to directories to be imported as projects. The view menu icon has been improved. It now looks smoother in high DPI and better in the dark theme. Launch configurations, for instance run, debug or this external tool configuration, can now be launched also via quick access, control 3. The Git repositories view can be customized by filtering certain elements, for example references and tags. A fetch can now be done by double-clicking the fetch node. In the history view, in the right-click menu of files, there is a new entry. Check out this version to replace the file with another version. If and only if the file contains not yet committed changes, a warning dialog will ask you if you really want to replace the file. These were some of the general and Git improvements of the quarterly rolling release June 2019. The Java, Maven and Gradle improvements are shown in a separate video. If you have skipped some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thank you for watching and happy coding!